we're back. <laughs> we have another. You said yeah. we have another uh, ice cream machine here. This one we've actually tried using in our liquor store for about uh, three months. Um, being a liquor store, you don't get as much call for ice cream. But anyway, this is a. Uh, it's a manufacturer by Hoda. It's a 2013 model. Uh, it's BQ 316 is the model number. Power is 110 volts, single phase, 15 amp. Refrigerants R404A. Uh, it has a three head soft serve ice cream machine set up just like the other ones we, we were discussing. Uh, stay fresh option for overnight. If you want to leave your mix in there and not have to clean it down all the time, you can go ahead and hit this button here and that'll keep it for overnight storage. See how it kicks on there? Uh, after that, it, it also has, you know, it adjusts, you have your cups per hour, you get 60 grams per cup, which equals out about 180 to 260 cups per hour. Uh, your compressor's in a Sparrow, 1.5 horsepower. Cooling method's air cooling system, just like the other ones. The dimensions on this system is only 20 inches by 23 by 31, so it should fit on just about any counter instead of any ice cream shop or whatever you have. Uh, it's about 220 or 255 pounds. The hopper capacity on this one is smaller than the other ones that we're selling. But if you look, there's two hoppers. They're both uh, 5.8 liter hoppers, um, opposed to the 10 liter hoppers and the other ones that we're selling. Um, there is a low level alarm on this, so if it get, drops down too low, it'll go off and, and let you know that you're, you know, you're running low. Uh, we can give you the, any information you might need on the manufacturer for any parts or anything like that if it ever comes due. It's ran like a champ, never had any issues. We will throw in the uh, ice cream cone dispenser uh, for no, you know, no extra price. Uh, just to show you, you can you know, throw, throw a couple cones in here. Uh, the bigger cones. Uh, the bigger cones. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Let's go over here and we'll show you how this thing works. I got some ice cream. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, some ice cream in here. Let's start with chocolate. We're gonna start with the chocolate ice cream. And then we'll go from there to doing our pineapple. Put some chocolate into this side here. We'll fill this up. Gotta get past the one line and well, it's just 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 underneath, just underneath that other hole right there in the top pole. All right. Now we'll go ahead and do the pineapple. It'll mix mix and everything as it's going. It's already ready for that. Some more pineapple in here. Depending on your area, you know, you make different flavors, different places. Pineapples are probably probably a pretty good seller. Seasons change, you might do an eggnog or something like that. Okay, on there to keep everything protected. These spare parts I'm gonna set off to the side. Close this lid down. We'll wait about two minutes. We'll give it about a you know about a minute or two for it to cycle down into the system so that we're not you know trying to pop up empty system. Or well, you can take the two and then Yeah, you, the, on top of it there's a that long plastic tube I was talking about, you can actually pull that out, let it drain down there quicker, then put the tube back in. But you want to show that? We're, we're, we, we, we can go ahead and show you how that is while, while we're waiting here. Let's grab the uh, chocolate one. So you just pull that tube out and it starts to suck it down a little faster than waiting for it to slowly rotate in there. And you just pop that tube back down in there. That's it. And it looks like we're about ready. And uh, it's a simple setup. Uh, you're just going to hit the auto set to start it up. Once it gets going here, I'll show you that to access the settings, simple as pie. This is a really easy to use system. It's all pretty much labeled. There's a stop. Uh, Here's your keep fresh for overnight storage. See how it's got a minus sign? You'll, you'll keep that in mind for later when I show you. And the wash here, when you're doing a wash cycle, simple step, but it also has a plus, keep that in mind for later. Now what you do to access all your settings is you're gonna hit the auto set, hold that for about 10 seconds.
now we've accessed it. 18 is the settings for your, like your agitating and your, your quick cooling system. Uh, I, I waited too long talking. Uh, if you, you can leave that one alone, there's really no need to mess with that one. This next one here, that's your cup count. Uh, that's how many cups you're getting out, you know, per hour. And this one here is your hardness. Uh, if you go up, the up arrow, the harder it is, down, the softer it is. We like a soft serve ice cream, so we stay about three. Let it set, it will automatically go back uh, to ready to use. Well, it's gonna take about... No, it should take, it's gonna take a little bit for this to get cold, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it real quick, just to, just to show you. Seven minutes. Just to show you that right now, it's not quite ready. See how it's coming out liquid? It takes about five, six minutes to do this. We'll be right back with that. Yep. All right, now that we're back, it, it took about, is it, it takes about eight to 10 minutes and you'll see that it goes to the fine setup, which lets you know that it's ready to roll. Grab yourself a cone, get yourself some soft serve ice cream. Ready to roll, good stuff. Mm. Pineapple. Mm -hmm. I could also do chocolate. Or you can do mix. Mmm. And that's it. Great machine. Great machine. You'll make your money back in no time. Really easy to use. Simple to clean, simple to fill. Settings are easy to do, can't beat it, hope you buy it, enjoy.